Yeah, got the uh, <laughs> next two bots on my list for the train set. Um, this is the right arm and right leg of the combiner um, uh, rating. Um, so, um, yeah, this is uh, uh, two. I already got them out the box. I, you know, you won't see that every time. I'm gonna do that one on figures of a. This is a set figure, so they all gonna come out about the same with their uh, particular attachments. Um, it's maybe the wing or backside and his own gun and his own yeah, inner link for the trains. This guy comes out with a big gun. So he holds a big gun for Raiden, um, blah, blah, blah. So let me get the names right. So this is Jet Sui. I might put him on the screen. And he's the right leg, I believe. Um, let me make sure I got the right one here. I think he's the right leg of Raiden. Yeah. And this guy is name is... Um, well, Cool Peak on the box, he, he's Dark Knight. This is Cool Peak, but he, he's Jet Sui. I'm probably definitely messing up the pronunciation of that. And this guy's name is Sizen, S-E-I-Z-A-N, Sizen. And he's the right arm of Raiden. And I said, this would be a great time to get him out and get a feel of him, get a, I mean, get a look and feel of him, and just just see what these bots, these Moon Studio bots are all about. This is definitely, you know, like we said in my last videos, this is definitely... <laughs> The owl, right up the alley of, um, um, what do you call it? The Aerobots, the Zeta toys. This is all, you know, the, you know, the look and feel of these guys. They're Zeta all the way. Um, I'm, I'm the type of reviewer or a person that just looks at stuff. You know, I'm a very high level reviewer. I don't get into the complicated, you know, things of it. I just like showing them off and getting my little quick piece on them and, and moving on. Um, this, these guys, um, um, giving a high level, you know, spill on them. I like knowing the background story of each individual character. Like I've said, in probably in many uh, videos, videos past, um, I've said this before. Uh, I like about all the personalities in the Transformers universe on G one. Uh, there's no personality that I did not like or appreciate that they try to implement in all these characters. All the characters you see here on my shelf, all the characters you see, you know, everywhere around here. I like their. I buy them for the collection purposes for stuff I've never had when I was a child. This is a memorial as well as animations, but I also buy them because I because I like the characterizations of them, and that's what this is all about. Um, there's not a lot you have to go do your research on characterizations of these uh, season four. Really, the Japanese Japanese animation took over after season four began for the for America side of the Transformers universe um, for G1 and. Um, these guys have their own individual personalities. I might put some on the screen during this conversation and everything. When I, as I look at the look and the feel and the mechanics and all this stuff. But all these guys got their own personalities, and I do like looking at the personalities. And I might even go back and recap on some things I missed about the previous um, uh, guy, the train set I got up here. The first one I did, I forgot his name, Shoki or whatever. Uh, because he's actually the brother of one of these. Uh, one of these guys is his younger brother. I think one of them is on here, on this table right here. And if I had to guess, I'm thinking um, Gitsui is his younger brother. But I, I'll, I'll put it up later. I might be wrong. I could very well be wrong um, about Brotherhood. But they, they, I'm finding out more. I watch more of the Headmasters cartoons. So I find it out more. Like this guy right here, you know, this is Jitsui. He's actually, as far as personality is concerned, his name means Moonlight. And he's uh, he likes fighting in the night. He likes the dark. Um, he likes sneaking up on enemies. He's like attacking, you know, in the dark. He, he's a sneaker. <laughs> You'll never see that problem in a cartoon too much. They don't have. They don't never take the time to really. And this is. I, I'm not going to even get to go to that spiel. I was going to go to, but um, I, I think that's what made the G1, the season one and two, a better than most of the other seasons because they went into the personality of them. And you saw their individual gifts and talents better. Uh, Mirage disappearing, Blaster, um, you know, Will Jack, all of them have their special behind, you know, uh, Mirage, you know, holograms and all that. Uh, you, that's what made G1 G1. Um, this guy right here, he's a guy that likes mountains. His name actually means blue or green mountain. Now, he does not look blue or green. 
But that's what his name means. And his name, of course, once again, in uh, Japanese, I believe, is Sizen. S yeah, S-E-I-Z-A-N. So, and he actually uh, likes high places. He This is where he likes, he likes mounting up in high places. I guess that's where he likes to attack from, likes to spy out his enemies from, or just likes hanging out. He likes high mountain places. So that's what his name means. So as I go through the last three, after I finish this video up, you'll see, you know, that that's what I do. I, I, I like who the characters is. As far as the look at these guys, once again, these looks, the looks of these guys is, is, is phenomenal. Um, when I look at, and I'm not going to bring up too many pictures of the Takara ones coming out and some, I think there's one already out and I don't know, maybe more than one now. Um, they, they're painted. I see the paint accents on them, even on the, even on the black here. And I don't know how well it comes through on my camera, but I just love the fact that these are all in ones. I noticed in the cartoon, these guys, if I, you know, these guys split up, even when they transform, sometimes you'll see it, sometimes you won't, you know how the cartoons are. Um, but these guys will split up the transformation and part of this, they'll transform and part of it come back on their back, you know, you know, whatever one that is. And these guys are all in one transformation. I love it. They look good. They are so well put together. They look great. Their paint is great. Moon Studios, they're bigger than what they really should be. But then, of course, they turn into trains. Every day they haul stuff. They're, they're, they're you know, all the, through through the Headmaster's cartoon, they're, they're hauling. They're, they're, they're transporting everybody. They fly. They don't roll, even though these guys got wheels, they, they don't really roll on tracks hardly at all, except on the ground once, I think, when they uh, with Ultra Magnus one time and maybe a few other times. But, um, got to watch the stand on these. Of course, I'm on a towel, so that doesn't help. But, um, and of course, I put the towel down to protect them in case they do fall. But um, they, they look outstanding. And that's what made me say, you know, I had to do a little research before. I said, okay, who, what can I purchase next? And I had to do some research. And so I'm definitely going to get these guys. And as far as just throwing in the field real quick before we get to uh, comparisons and um, and uh, the mechanics of them, which is going to be pretty good um, mechanics-wise, um, these guys, their, their weight is excellent. Good weight on all of them. I say they each are probably a little over a pound each. Not going to... I, I, if I weighed anything, I'll just weigh one, just have an idea, because they're all pretty much around the same weight, but I wouldn't say that because I haven't brought out the guys that there's just a bigger one, a real bigger bot here. I'll get them all out at the last video and you, to see them all together. But there's a, actually a bigger one that it probably does weigh a lot more than the others, no doubt. But like I said, these are all around, ooh, well over a pound. Ooh, that's like a pound and six ounces, a pound and a third of a over a third um i think there's 16 ounces and yeah so it's definitely over a third um a pound and over a third pound and a third is what i'm trying to say so yeah there you know i i i don't doubt this is does feel lighter and he is lighter he's three ounce he's three ounces lighter didn't measure the first guy but pretty much you know i can go through and do that with the rest if if i just have to but they're all well over a pound and they all feel great so let me cut this segment short and go to some comparisons and go to some um, uh, articulation stuff. Now, like I said, I do a high level approach. Now, as far as comparison, here's Soundwave with them. And, I'll, you know, Soundwave is a good one to, to compare up because, you know what, Soundwave, and I, I'm glad I brought them out because I think I brought them, I had them sitting down below because I had watched a Headmaster cartoon the other day that he's actually a major factor in the headmaster cartoons they sound like, like like underneath uh scorpinox he's like one of the you know he becomes like more of the leader again i mean even galvatron disappears for a minute and he he's a very key key element in the headmaster's cartoon i do like that i do like the fact you know J japanese got a lot of a lot of loopholes there a lot of to me kind of failures there because you know we have different cultures and that's okay um but they, in the same time, they did bring some things back that I liked. Some few guys that never really died in Transforms the movie as well as some that did. But they, you don't see them a whole lot. You see more of the ones that should be there. Um, Jazz was very revel relevant in the first three or four episodes. And you see them scattered. And uh, some of the other guys that never really see them perish, you know. Um, <clears throat> Springer, my boy here, he's seen very little. Um one or two episodes I see Springer in. The first one or two, and then he they shoot a triple change. You see Blitzwing more, a little bit more than you expect. And uh, I like seeing those characters that should be there, you know. And um, 
Soundwave is a very key character. Blaster, let me tell you something. I told you about those funny names they use in the Headmaster cartoons. I said it's going to be kind of a knowledge section of the Headmasters as well, because even though these are not Headmasters, they're in the, they are major roles in the Headmaster continuation. But, uh, you know, also you see that um, Blaster is too. And you know what? Even though they get destroyed, they just, you know, Blaster and, and Soundwave kind of beat each other up and they get rebuilt. They're still called Blaster. Um, and he's still called, even Twin Cast becomes blue. You know, Blaster becomes a blue guy. He still is called um, uh, Blaster. They still call him, they actually call him by the right name after they get destroyed for some reason. Before they were calling him something else, I guess. And because uh, really, he was renamed Sound Blaster on the tour or something. He, and uh, of course, uh, Blaster was renamed Twin Cast. But you never hear them call him that in the cartoon as well as Spike. As I already put a list on my last video of what some of the weird names were. You know, the Matrix are called the Power Pact. Uh, Spike is called Sparkle. Um, the leader of them, the one I did last time, I'll get to train out when I transform them. Um, he was called Grimlock. Go figure. Um, Grimlock, really? Uh, the, the head, the leader of the Shoki was... Ultra Magnus calls him Grimlock multiple times. I don't know what happened there. But nonetheless, here's just some comparison. They're all big size, big bots. They're all big size bots. Um, they, they, um, they made them this way. Really, they would be smaller. The car bots are gonna be a lot smaller than, um, than this. So, let me get to the uh, definitely. Um, I'll, I'll get to some accessories here in a second, and then we'll get to articulation and then get out, get out of here. I don't know if I'm going to dip too far into the accessories. You know, we got this big gun here, and I, I probably a dip more into it. Um, here's his individual gun. I have no doubt they're going to hold him right. I, I, I noticed that I put him on the last um, figure that I had out here, and it just was no issue um, with it. Some people can see that from any other video they watch on on the YouTube. Um, these reviews have been out for over a year now, probably, and I'm just now... Because the way they make the guns, they just kind of slide into the slot, really. They kind of just slide into that circle. So you, you'll have no issues, more than likely. Um, I don't think so, anyway. I'm blocking it with my... Getting old, so I'm wearing copper these days to make sure my hands are feeling good. But there's just no issues with these guys ever holding their weapons and stuff. And I like this guy's name, Cool Peak, on the, on the package because it's... <laughs> You know, his personality, I haven't watched a lot of his personality, but it probably lies into being high and daredevilish. So that that doesn't surprise me. They named him Cool Peak. But as far as just the quick articulation, of course, this is all, this very good tolerance on these. You know, very good tolerance. And let me lift this up a little bit. So um, even though they're not ratcheted, you know, they're, they're, they're well, this does definitely a 360. And looks a little bit down and you know these guys um, I, they might loosen over time but hopefully there's some places here where you can tighten them bolts in the back to tighten those joints and the, the shoulder joints but really great articulation and these transformations so far I've been so impressed even though I didn't I don't think I transformed the first one so good hear that strong ratchet a little looser on the right side, but you hear the ratchet. Much, very strong and almost scarily strong on this. I, I've, I've not messed with these yet, so it's kind of good to know. Uh, no ratchets on the outward, but very van damage. So um, strong ratchet there. Um, the range is all over, and I really, really, really not much up, not much. Well, we got down little tiny bit up so then you set it back and set it back in place um you know and i don't i don't expect too much different i can mess around with it real quick but i don't i don't expect too much different from looks like on this one it's, it's kind of jointed in a way that yeah it can be uh very stiff you, you know always with new stuff you guys you know you know the deal you, you're not kids uh, just be careful um you can definitely this guy's up is part of his transformation so i don't think it goes up on its own and non-ratcheted as well oh i've got the double jointed here not really too much past 90 here it, except for breaking transformation it does go past 90 but you'll have to break transmit transformation to do it 
So this guy has a double joint here on the elbow as well. And of course that goes up and ooh, nice down. Got a little up, yeah, good up. Of course these are hindered, left and right is still hindered by the shoulder and they may be able to move out the way. They look like they twist a little bit, but you know, sometimes the look of Takara, I can see the Takara, someone going after those because they're smaller and they're more, they are more cartoon accurate in some ways. Um, because you see more backpack on the, even the leader, Shoshoki. I don't have them down right now, but you see more back. He showed more than probably any of them. So far, I'm halfway through the Headmasters thing. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, he's uh, definitely, when I see his design on the cartoon, it's definitely Takara's. But I would pick these, in my personal opinion, any, any day over because of their completeness. I'll pick them any, any day over the Takara ones for right now. There's nothing wrong with Takara ones. If that's the way you want to go, it's more real life effect too. Takara probably has. So it'd be interesting to see more video when they get um, the releasing all of them on Takara. It'd be cool to see them. So next in line is just simple transformation. So we'll do that and compare them up with the, their leader. And any more story I can add to this video and the rest of the videos, I'll try to do that. I'll lure them away. You go and get help. Okay. All right, you guys, I remember the early days of Zeta, <laughs> when these panel formers came into being. And I remember struggling with the Combaticon set that had Vortex and just transforming him sometimes. He seemed like his panels just never lined up quite right every time I attempted a transformation. Let me tell you, Boom Studios, Zeta, whatever you want to call them, they have come a long way. Uh, these were actually very enjoyable to transform and their, and their panels, um, were a very ingenious on how they um, um, situate them. You, you sometimes you don't even know they're there, and you like the, the final steps on size on this yellow one I was just doing. You know, I didn't even know these extra panels was there until I, till I realized they needed to be there. So okay, I got to put them in place, and they just fit so well on the body of the robot to where you really don't, you can't not tell. You know. <laughs> That they're even there. This, this, these guys are brilliant. Roughly the same height, different lengths on the train. Um, looks like I have the front cab section a little off here. It's been pushed up a little bit, but um, I'm just guessing what the front end is. I didn't know when we the, the legs are down here on this one. Um, I forgot where the legs were on this one. I'm thinking these are the legs too. Um, but just a long way from ground zero. Um, that the, they are really enjoyable. They're, it's really a great set, you guys. I mean, if you ever decide to pick up these, I don't know how the car is going to end up being in the end. Um, I showed a clip of how they're going to, you know, it's kind of a, uh, what do you call it, part former, parts former um, in it. But it, it's really, really quite awesome that they were able to do this and they keep seem like they're getting better i can't wait till they do something like a predator king I, I really can't um it'd be cool to see a predator king in the midst of that i can tell that you know this shoki is a little longer than him and uh getsui they're about the same length i think uh even shoki is even a little bit longer than getsui um this is definitely longer than that so Man, I think this is really shaping up. This is a this is really a great set. I never liked how he went together here. I hope his brother, his younger brother, Yokox Kizkazi, or whatever name I put up on the screen earlier, I hope he goes. This is the only thing I struggled with on my first review was just getting this front part to stay stable. And that would be the only complaint. That would be the only complaint. And these are even better. You know, this is their leader. Um, he should be perfected, but um, it's probably my imperfection. But there is some imperfections here. I, I mentioned on the video, 
Shoki had some imperfections with um, things that just pull off. And I, okay, here we go. I don't even want. I don't even want to start doing that on this one, but. I'm really impressed with these. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything. I don't have an astral train down here. Is there anything else I got transformed up that can compare with these sizes? I got Siege, Skylinks. Um, I got, uh, yeah, no one could talk. And just, you've seen this, just sizing them up together may just be sufficient for now. Um, and then when I return, I'll come back with, um, um, uh, more information on the Headmasters cartoon. I like that stuff. I like knowing. I'm, I keep making this even worse. Um, but I like um, knowing knowledge and facts about stuff I never watched. So it's kind of interesting going back to seeing. So compact, so well placed in these, you guys. I have to give it high grades on that. They, they've come a long way to make these all-in-ones. And of course, we haven't even got to the combining uh, portion of it yet. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to see a Pred King come from them. Um, these guys are very inexpensive right now compared to what you get. Um, $99 a piece, basically. I think he even shows you marked the price down to $600, $599.99. I got these from TF, T Terry's Fan Club, and that was because they were marked down to that price. Um, so, and actually I bought them separate. They weren't in a pack together. Um, they, I think Shows has a pack of them together, like the Combatic concept for Zeta and the aerobots so you guys no further ado i'm really impressed with these i like the headmaster series as far as what they were trying to do i don't think they fully accomplished um everything they were trying to do with the headmasters um at least <laughs> maybe not from a hasbro standpoint or a um uh you know cartoon standpoint that i don't know how well it went with the japanese congregation over there but, you know, looking forward to more, looking forward to doing it. I got some special reviews coming up. So, you guys, I hope, you know, the last three on these will be very good. And so far, unique transformations. I have a feeling his younger brother may be the same. I don't know yet. But, you know, so far, I have not ran into very different, even on the leg transformations, but much differences. So, you guys take care. I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully soon. Have a good rest of your weekend. Be blessed.